today actually i was uh, doing my um, a few tracking thing like i was uh, adding uh, a new website to google analytics so i thought that i will quickly create a tutorial for you so that it is uh, easy for you so, uh, when you do it next time so i have this website uspoig.com this is already set up in google analytics and uh, now currently we are under construction of a new website which is coupons by usp.com and i wanted to add it to google analytics so uh, what you have to do is see very quickly um, we need to go to um, this uh, your analytics account and uh, first of all you need to select um, which uh, account which you want to use so i will select the same Apple service portal because coupons by USB is also a property of Apple service portal and uh, then what you need to do is you need to create a new property so over here you will click new property and uh, the website name website name is coupons by USB and uh, this is the home page of my website so I will take the URL from there and uh, industry category um okay sorry now it should be valid yeah category is um let me see shopping Okay, online community. Don't be the community shopping. I will put it under. And reporting time zone would be India. Yeah, get tracking ID. See how quickly it is done. And uh, <coughs> this is my tracking ID. What I will do now is I will just take it from here over here and put it. Right under my, into my dashboard, I will go to appearance and then I will click on the editor. And very simply, uh, see either I will put it in the header, I will put it in the footer. Where is my footer? Because these are two things which are present everywhere on our website. Um, my throat is a little jammed. That's it. Update file. I was just checking because uh, some of the themes uh, they have a problem so they break down because of any change in their script but yeah this one is cool otherwise we have many other options but yeah this has worked for me every time so no problems with that and uh, yeah that's, uh, that's it now I can go back to home see you can see that the website has been added successfully and uh, obviously no current database because uh, I have just added it so I will start receiving the database and uh, that's it I hope it helps and uh, uh, do visit my website for more tutorials thank you